It's game time! Hey everybody, this is Andrew Carter here, and we are back in Pirates of the Caribbean, the game. Even though that's not the name of the game, it's just Pirates of the Caribbean. I always start off with something funny and weird like that. That wasn't planned. I just felt like, you know, saying the way I put it. Every time it, like, does a little lag spike where it, like, freezes, I think some dude's gonna talk to me. You know, there's French soldiers here, and we're British dudes, and, you know, uh-oh, it's doing that thing on the camera. Look away from the French, maybe? I don't know, some, for some reason, this Xbox always messes up the camera. Oh, yeah. Wait. Let me... Did I put the money in the loan shark with the... I can't remember anything right now. Okay, let, let's check the quest book. See what we have to do. Oh yeah, I also turned up the... The... The volume for the music. Well, just like the stuff in general. Okay. Okay, blah 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 blah. Oh, oh, now I remember what we have to do. Okay, so I've played this game many times before. I've only completed it like two or three times, I think only twice. But I've played it for many hours. This game has like at least 12 hours of gameplay. Like for um, one time, I just spent like like three hours each morning like 7 to 10 o'clock a.m. just like playing okay so what we got to do is talk to Everett Gordon I think that's his name played too much of this game know the secret to a good spot of grub? pinch your gunpowder ah. oh I didn't know he actually says stuff I guess I never had it up high okay I guess I could use some oh Oh, okay. I was gonna get some extra crew, you know, but they, they don't want to. Oh, yes. They, they, they would. Okay, so I, I asked about the French, and I said they promised that they would harm no one, and they sacked half the city. Poor Mildred had to. Oh, wait, no, that's him saying that. Oh, not me. Poor Mildred had to flee for her life, and her father was cut down like an animal when he resisted. It's worse than I thought. Tell me, Everett. Would you like to see the... Ah, I can't do a British accent anymore. Okay. Um, would, you like, would you like to see the English flag raised over Ox Bay again? Oh, no, it's too girly. Would you like to see... Yeah, yeah, that's good. Captain, I pray for the day when these invaders finally are tossed from here into the sea. They drink gallons of my best rum and ale, and I'm afraid to even ask them about payment. Uh, uh, uh. uh oh, having a minor glitch here. Okay, there we go. When, then you may be pleased to know that I come by order of Sir Robert Christopher Seilhard. The governor of Redmond? His serene highness knows about the attack? Then why doesn't he get off his well-padded throne and recapture the colony? No good time for now. I'm collecting information on the France's plan. The France. Okay. Okay, the captain. Okay, yeah. Okay. I see. I see. Yes. If there's anything I can do to aid your mission, just let me know. What's going on now in the city? Virtually nothing. Most of the population is hiding, either in their houses or out in the jungle. The French have posted guards at the city gate, but every day several citizens manage to slip past them and out of town. As to the French soldiers, they seem to see this occupation as their own mad party. Most of them are drunk at all hours. Furthermore, they are short-handed. Commanders of the fleet are hiring more and more sailors. But they they pay. Oh no, I started going Irish for a second. Furthermore, they are short-handed. Commanders of the fleet are hiring more and more sailors. Their pay is quite good, I'm told. But to the point, Sir Nathaniel, this may be well, a good time to send an emissary to the French. A good bartender hears a lot. Maybe you've managed to pick up some information about the French and their plans. Well, now this may amount to nothing, 
But the other night, two drunken French officers were talking about a ship they were waiting for, heavily loaded with ammunition. They seemed to hope it would take its time coming here, so they could continue to enjoy this party they're having at our town's expense. It seems likely to me that as soon as this shipment of ammunition arrives, the fleet will weigh anchor and move on to the next step of their battle plan, whatever it may be. It's hard for me to keep up um, accents, because I'm only American, so I can't do it forever. Like, um, I'm trying to mix, like, a uh, rusty voice, a uh, raspy voice with a British accent, and it's hard to do it for everyone. But I, I think I'll, I'll be good at the main characters, I think. Um... That's, that's exactly the sort of information I need. I'm pleased to hear it. If I overhear anything else of use, I will let you know right away. When these pigs get drunk, they run their mouths like a stewing sucker. If they won't pay for my ale with gold, they'll pay for it with information, whether they know it or not. So a drunken soldier is as, a, a drunken French soldier is as good as a spy, eh? That's a very good way of putting it, Sir Nathaniel. If you could only hear what goes on here at night. Maybe I can hear some of it, with your help. You have an idea? I'm at your service. My plan is pretty simple. You see that Frenchman there? Do you know him? It's the dude behind me. Certainly. He's an officer from the French frigate. Not much of an officer, though. He spends much of his time here. Perfect. Are you ready to spend some gold for the liberation of Ox Bay? Gold, sir, no, sir. No. I'm afraid you've lost me. It's simple. It's very simple. I'm going to sit down with this man, and you're going to give him whatever he wants. Wine, ale, rum. We'll get him drunk, and I'll fish out any useful bits of information he might have swimming in his head. But sir Nathaniel, I'm already going broke. Who will pay for all these drinks? I'm ready and willing to con contribute to the liberation of Ox Bay. But name a price I can afford. Listen, wait, I got a choice. What price would you put on your freedom? Or the governor's style high will repay him? I'm gonna be nice. Listen, go listen, Governor Silhard would gladly repay you for your expenses, and I'll throw something extra for your trouble. I don't know if he will. <laughs> Do you really think that he'll reward me, sir? Fine then, let's get down to business. I knew you would see it my way. Just hurry and bring on the drinks. <laughs> I'm kind of passive aggressive. So, you know, this guy, this guy. Mr. Masoni. I believe he does. Valentin Masoni. What do you want? Ha ha ha. I'll do a ha 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 every time a French dude speaks. You know, to just to spice it up. <laughs> my friends are saying it's boring. But they're subscribers, so. Yeah. My name is Nathaniel Hook. Blow my belly, ha ha ha. I don't care what your name is, ha ha ha. You're bothering me, ha ha ha. Actually, I'll do it after everything he says. Instead of, um. In, instead of, like, every sentence. Like, every, like, little paragraph stuff instead of a sentence. Okay. You're. you're you're bothering me. Do you need something? If not, go away. Ha ha ha. I, I want to work aboard a ship. Do I look like a quarters master? Ha ha. Head to the dock and speak with the men there. I have nothing to do with the common rabble. Now move along. I am enjoying myself here. Ha ha ha. No, wait. I'm not interested in becoming a deckhand. That's why I came to you, Captain. I see. Well, what position do you want? Ha uh ha. -huh. Well, many have said that I'm an excellent navigator. I'm doing all these voices. Just so you know. You don't say it. Well, why didn't you say so? This is fortunate. My navigator was killed during the assault in Ox Bay. I've been seeking a replacement. Ha uh ha. -huh. And if you buy me a drink, you're as good as hiring. Ha uh ha -huh. ha. So I'm going to talk to the tavern keeper. It says, to the tavern keeper. Another round! 
and the navigator must keep accurate charts of all of our routes. Ha ha ha! I'm really bad at French accents, don't judge me. Okay. Excuse me, but maybe discuss the details of the post later. For now, maybe you can help me celebrate and tell me of your ship. A grand idea. To your new job. <coughs> More rum. Tomorrow morning, go to the harbor and ask for the or uh, aurora, or aura, whatever it is. Ha ha ha. So when are we putting to sea? To sea? Ah, when the boat with the <coughs> munitions comes. But mind your tongue about that. No one is supposed to know about that ship. Yes, certainly, sir. Ha ha. I forgot the ha ha at the end. Also, it says hiccup, but I like to go, <coughs> you know, because that is good if you like. And when the boat with the hiccup munitions come. <laughs> anyway, now we're talking. Bring me some, one more rug of, mug of rum. <coughs> All right. It's time to go to the ship. What a waste of a town. There's not a single brothel. <gasps> oh no, I hiccup. I was supposed to go. Ha ha ha. So, let's have one more drink and... And what? To your health, navigator. So, so what do you <gasps> want to say? Just that I'll miss my aunt. She lives nearby, not far from the town wall. This is all a lie. Ha ha ha. I see. Do you want to say goodbye to her? <gasps> you have to forget it. Escort me to the to ship. And I shall truly miss her daughters. There's sure to be so such fine women after all this time. Wait, uh, perhaps she should pay them a visit. <gasps> yes, <gasps> let's go right now. Yes, sir. I keep forgetting the ha ha ha's because. Um, wait, has it already been 12 minutes? Okay, this episode's gonna go on to like 20 minutes. Okay. Hot monster! What do you think you're going? Ha ha! The captain and I have decided to take a stroll along the path. At this hour, that seems quite strange. Ha ha! If you don't believe me, you can ask him yourself. <laughs> Out of the way, me and my friends are going to pay a visit to the, the ladies. Okay, so we got to go into the door, just like the dude. You know, the little Masoni wearing the... Oh, it's doing that thing again where it's like covering the screen. I don't like that. It's not good. Okay, here we go. Xbox is so old. So, you know, we're walking around. He's gonna tell me not to fall behind because, you know, we gotta. Oh, wait, no. If I go like. We're gonna like go over here and then. Yeah. Okay. And Sony, keep up. Oh, he's running now. Yeah. He's gonna ask me some questions now. What are you waiting for? Let's, let's go. I'm coming. Okay, okay, not yet, not yet. Over here. Here we are. Yes, two steps over here. He looks around. Look, he looked around. Magical. There's a little rat. It, it, sir? Uh oh, Sony? Oh, he's walking around now. Oh, now he's. Wait, wait. Where are we going? I see a little jungle out there. Ha uh ha. -huh. You're right. Let's stop here. Why? Ha uh ha. -huh. So you can tell me everything you know about that ship that carries more of those munitions. What? No, you're no navigator, are you? You're an English spy, ha ha ha. You catch on fast. Outrageous deceiver. You'll learn nothing from me, and don't make sure you tell no one. Prepare for a fight, coward, ha ha ha. Captain, contain yourself. You can barely stand, let alone fight. L listen, you got me drunk on purpose, ha ha ha. Tell me everything and I'll spare you. Tie me and uh, Tight, and I'll spare you. Lie to me, and I'll have to extract. Oh no, I just went Spanish for a second. Or whatever. Lie to me, and I'll have to extract the information from you by other means. <laughs> I'll tell you. A bark called the Oisu is scheduled to bring fresh arms to this island. Oh no, that's. that's just don't care. Just don't care about the accents. 
so we may have a secure entire island. I heard that it's in Flash de Fleur's harbor. Ha ha! The captain of the Oyster was waiting at the dock for his escort. Ha ha! I think I'm saying that right. O I S E A U. Oyster. I ca I'm calling it the Oyster. Will the bark remain in the port until its escort arrives? Because the bark is kind of shit. Ugh, I believe so. That's all I know. Now, he's going to tell on me. So then I'll have to run. I I've played this game before. If I say you've told me enough, uh, I need to know you may go, he will tell on me. Thank you for the information. So, I'm going to say, thank you for the information, Captain. I'm afraid I have to kill you. Like, this wasn't part of the deal. But, hey, it's, 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 it's fun. He's actually pretty strong. He's got 60 health. Uh-oh. You guys want to tussle? No dudes out there? Huh. Oh, yes. I has a new item. Oh, no. They want to tussle. Ah! Bang! Oh! 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 Oh, these guys are tough. They got like 60 health. Oh, I shot him for no reason. Okay. Oh, they made a big sound when they dropped. Like, <laughs> Okay. Am I safe to look in my inventory? Okay. So, I got something from him. You know, it had like a little chest icon down there. Like a little treasure chest icon. So, yeah. That's the stuff I bought. Wait, here's some garbage that I don't need. Oh, yeah. Here's... Valentin was selling these papers. These papers say that the supply bark is at Flas de Fleur right now, waiting for a convoy vessel. So, what we're. Oh, wait, no. I'm gonna read the quest book. I know what we gotta do, but I'm not gonna spoil it. We, okay. okay. Everything worked as I hoped. Under the threat of death, the drunken Masoni told me that the bark Oisu. You know, the bark is the kind of ship, and the Oisu is the name of the ship, is at Flas de Fleur Harbor. That very bark is supposed to deliver ammunition to the French squadron, but it's not going to put to sea unless they find an escort ship. Should I inform Seilhard about that, or just sail to Flas de Fleur and find about everything myself? We just left the town, and I killed Masoni. Before the soldiers approached me, I searched his body. I didn't search it, I just instantly got it. Sony was escorting a bark named Oisu to the French colony. Flas de Fleur there. Right. To the French colony. Flas de Fleur. There, the bark will be loaded with supplies and armament. Armament? Hmm. But now that Masoni is not available to accompany them, the bark won't sail to Oxbait until they find a new escort ship. So now, I will be that escort ship. Okay, my face has stopped blinking, so I guess I'm not wanted anymore. Wait. Does that mean... Oh, I can just turn around and go all the way back to... Wait, something happened. Oh, no. I ran out of space. Okay, I'll meet you guys when I get to the... The... The place. It might be in the next episode, though. Or not. I don't know. So I'll say bye, I'll cut it out if I'll do more, I won't cut it out if it's like, um, this.